Hi hey guys, we're here again, and what I'm going to show you now is to shine this up. As you can see, I've got a little bit of a dent in my shoe, which I had before. We're going to patch that up. So I'm going to show you how to tape up your shoes so you don't mess them up. Okay, I'm just going to put you down again. What we've got, we've got tape, which we had before. Let's get a nice bit of strip of it. Stick it to the desk. Use some scissors, chop it off, stick here. I'm going to do it over here so you can see what we're doing. Get your scissors and just. Yeah, about that much. Not using much, so it's about, about thumb width, give or take. And then just pop it on. I have a scalpel, it just pushes it into the edge of the welts. See? Just stick it on there. Just push down. Again, just sticking it, just get it nice and pushed in as far as you can to the crease. That's where the toe cap meets the welts and it seals the rest of the shoe. Do bear in mind, you can use a blowtorch, but if you get away, burn off all these bits, the sewing, your shoe will fall apart and then there's no point carrying on because you have just royally bummed your shoes. And you're going to have to get a brand new pair. So, it's not sticking anymore. You can use any tape really. I'm just using this because it's quite thick. And if you use, again, if you use masking tape when you're using a blowtorch, you can burn it, set it on fire. And if you're still on your polishing state, set it on fire, which is quite a spectacular thing to see. I know one cadet used a cooking uh, blowtorch, and that was quite a spectacular shoe burning. Set his shoe straight on fire, that was not the greatest of all days for him. Still carrying on, going up as much of this tape as you can. I'm probably going to chop most of this. Save you from getting bored. And guys, you don't have to do this, it's just a training guide. If you can, if you have the time to do this, it's I definitely advise doing it, but it's up to you. Very time consuming, and it can cost you some money if you cock it up. I know I've this is my third pair of shoes because I need them every so often. You can't stand them and break them, then you just gotta retouch them up. As you can see, we've got a fully taped up shoe. Got a dimple we're going to fill in. Alright, I'm going to carry on. Still got the filled in shoe. <laughs> Get your heat gun. Get your beeswax. This has gone down significantly compared to when we were using it before. And we're just going to basically drip polish. So, what we're going to do is heat up, heat up the beeswax. Remember being careful not to burn your fingers. So it will hurt. Just gonna start the dripper. There you are.
all I'm doing is just filling it in, getting it hot, applying the wax, and just applying it directly as where we need it. And I'm just going to touch it up on the rest of the shoe. Give it a bit of a fighting chance. And every so often what happens is the tape, depending on what you're using, like I'm using a plastic tape, it just shrivels down and it goes a bit softer. It kind of sticks here, so be careful what you're doing. So, again, having some more tape. You just want to make sure that you're not going to get any of the wax into your welts. Because if you get it into your welts, it's just an arse to get out. Because that's when you have to start using a screwdriver, using a scalpel, scraping it all out. And it's just not what you want to do on a Sunday. And again, pressing it in. You can be as flamboyant as you want with this. Be as neat as you want, be as scruffy as you want. It doesn't really matter. It's just as long as you don't get beeswax everywhere. And you are going to burn yourself, definitely. I burnt myself. Five times now. It's the same procedure. Make sure it's dripping. There you go. Put it on. Rub it in. Keep going round. And what someone said to me is, treat it as if it's a crayon, a wax crayon. And you're just rubbing it in. You want to just wax it on, then heat gun it just to seal it. That's just to basically make it smooth. That's just the same method as what we had before, just heating up the sides of the shoe, getting all the beeswax that just runs off. That's why I got the tape around here, just to catch it and just. Make sure you don't get it in your welts. There we go. That is an almost smooth shoe. I'd pass it on inspection. I don't say so myself. Depending on how many responses we get on this, how many views we get. I might make some more videos when it doesn't regard to shoes, when it comes down to uniform, how to iron your, how to iron your uniform. Um, most NCOs know how to do it, if not they should. I know some cadets haven't quite got the facilities to iron all their stuff. So, yeah, we'll just leave that to dry. Hopefully this has helped you so far on how to fill in the cracks, that's how it is now. You still see a bit of the dent, so when you see with the light flashing over it. Other than that, it's smoother than what it was. Bear in mind guys, when it dries, it's not going to be anything like that. If it was, I'd be so much happier. It's going to dry again, like that. Dull as anything, hard as nails. Then we're just going to shine up to that, without the bumps. Cheers, guys.